Yo, so it's been about a year since I've had this profile picture and recently I've been feeling like I want to switch it up. So I did a poll on Instagram and the consensus was a new illustration of myself is what it's going to be. So today I'm going to walk you through the steps of how I'm going to make my new profile picture. All right, so hopping into Illustrator, I think I'm going to stick with my usual color palette and use these primary colors plus green. My goal is to loosely base this character off of my likeness, but if it's a little bit different, I'm not going to mind too much. So let's just start off here with a blue head. Make a nice big circle right here. We can grab your direct select tool, drag this bottom point down. We're gonna add a point right here, add a point right here. Using a keyboard, shift left key, shift right key. For the ears, let's use the pencil tool. So that's N on your keyboard. And we're gonna draw some nice big ears right here. Like that. And this is gonna go behind the head, but for now we'll just draw it on top. With the pencil tool again, we're gonna go like this, make a little loop like that. And then one more circle like this. And let's make that one slightly darker. Hit Command left bracket, and then select this shape, this shape, and this shape. Command G to group them together and then command shift left bracket to send it to the back. And that's our ear. Now, if we wanna make any adjustments, we can direct select this shape right here and make it a little bit bigger. That works for me. Now this option, drag this one over here, object transform, reflect. And now we have two ears. I tend to always make my characters with extremely large ears. Don't ask me why, it's just a preference. If you don't like it, oh well. Next, we're gonna cut out this top portion of the head in order to make the hairline. So what we're gonna do is make a point right here, bring it up this way, this way. Option drag this over this way, and then we're gonna reflect that. And then we're gonna make a rectangle up here for the top of the hairline. And then select P on your keyboard and then option and click on this line here and you can adjust the curve of the rectangle. Now we have these three shapes. Let's unite them with the Pathfinder tool. So over here on your Pathfinder tool, hit unite. And then now we're gonna use this shape to cut out the hairline. So with both this shape and the head selected, go over to your Pathfinder tool and minus front. Now we have this shape that we can make slight adjustments to. I think this needs to move over a little bit, so we'll do that on both sides. Selecting these points and then shift arrow key. That looks a little bit better. So now we're gonna make another circle on top like this. This one will be yellow. Send that to the back, command shift to left bracket. Make some adjustments to the size. Let's bring this point down a little bit. And we're gonna go up to effect, distort and transform, zigzag. Now what we can do is adjust the settings. So there's more ridges. We'll make it more spiky like that. And you can bring the size down like this to make it a little bit more subtle and then I always use smooth. Since I have curly hair, I didn't want it to just be a smooth circle. So we're just gonna add these bumps on it like that. That looks good to me, I think. All right, that's cool. And now we will make one more circle up top for the man bun, send it to the back. And we're gonna do the same thing, effect, distort and transform, zigzag. And we'll give it the smooth. Bring the size down all the way to two ridges can be, let's go with four. That's cool. All right, so man bun is right there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add some details to the hair, which what we're actually gonna do is add details to 
the head shape, but it's gonna look like we're adding details to the hair. So with your head selected, go ahead and get your pen tool and then we're gonna add three points at a time and then bring the middle point up. And then again with your pen tool option, click to get rid of the curve. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. So one, two, three, bring that middle one up. And then one more over here. One, two, three, bring it up. And let's actually do one more right here. So now we're just gonna add a few lines to give it the look of the hair going backwards. So get rid of the fill and with your pencil tool, just draw out some simple lines like this. Do a couple over here. Sort of curve them inwards towards the middle. One more, and then do a couple over here. You can always go back and make adjustments if you need, so let's just move this over a little bit. All right, cool, that works for me. Next, we're gonna do the face. So let's do the beard first. We'll start right about here with our pen tool. Bring it down right about there. And then click on this point. You'll see that little V pop up. That'll get rid of this side of the anchor point while keeping this curved. So this next point can go up to the middle like that. Bring it back down the same way and back up the same way like that. And then bring it all the way down like this. Select your head shape, command C, command shift V. So now we have two heads and then select your new beard shape and we're gonna hit this Pathfinder option, intersect. So now we have this shape on top of the head and we'll make that one yellow. Make some adjustments, bring it up like this if we need to. I think this could be a little bit less pointy. So we'll bring it out like that. And there's our beard. For the mouth, we're just gonna do a simple line Like that. Nose, we're gonna keep it nice and simple again too. So with no fill, we'll just draw this little backwards C shape and then add a line like that. For the eyes, they're gonna be white obviously. So let's grab this white. With our pencil tool, we're just gonna do a slight curve for the top of the eye. Bring it back down and around like that. For the people, for the people, we're gonna add it right here. Like that. Make that one black. And as always, make some adjustments if needed. Add some circles for the highlights. Get rid of that stroke another one right here all right so there's our eye so let's grab the pupil and the white of the eye group them together option drag it this way transform reflect and bring it like that and now we can grab the highlight option drag it this way onto this eyeball. Let's bring these down a little bit, resize them. Up next we got the eyebrows. So let's use a black again with the pencil tool, kind of wavy shape like that. Bring it straight up and then over this way. And then we'll grab this point and curve it out. Option drag this way, transform reflect and we'll bring this one down a little bit like that let's adjust the eyes a little bit make them a little bit smaller
and more separated too. Uh, let's actually adjust this beard too. So this bottom point, I think we stretched it out too much. Let's just keep it the same shape as the head originally was. Sweet. Let's group this whole entire head together. Command G. Next, we're gonna do the neck. So we'll do a rectangle right here. Command Shift, left bracket, send it to back, and we'll make it blue. Zoom in here and we will add a little shadow like that and that can be black of course so select the shadow and the neck command G to group them together and then command shift left bracket to send it to the back and let's double click on there and we're just going to give a little Adam's apple just for a little bit of detail and get rid of the fill on those. Cool. Next we will add a small oval right here and give it a little bit of a tilt. So rotate it about six or seven degrees. Let's go like right about there. Send it to the back and then with our neck selected, add a point right here and then delete that point. And now we have this open shape and we can move this point up with our direct select tool. So now it looks like the two shapes are connected. Let's give him a red hoodie. So select your red. So with your pen tool, we're gonna make each side of the hood separately. So what we do is add a point right here, bring it up, overlapping with that oval, straight across, and then curve it up towards the neck and then hovering over that last point get rid of the anchor and then we're gonna go straight up and follow along with the chin line then bring it back over this way with a nice curve like that and then we go straight down and then this right here will be the shoulder so bring it up to right about there and then bring it back this way it's a bit of a weird shape, doesn't look much like a hood at the moment, but you'll see it does come together. So what we can do is add just one line right here, group those together, Command G, Option Drag, Transform, Reflect. And now we have this shape. What we can do now is just add a little shape right behind this make it black and send it backwards command shift left bracket let's just adjust these points so there's a little bit of a differentiation between the two sides so they don't look exactly the same and we can add a rectangle right here which will essentially be the shirt underneath the hoodie so we can send that all the way to the back and then like I was saying, these will be the shoulders. So we'll make a new shape right here, starting at the corner of the hood. Bring it down just a little bit and then angle it out this way. We'll go straight across for now. We'll adjust this bottom part later and then back up the same way. Send that to the back and make it red with the body selected option on your keyboard and with your pen tool curve it out like that and let's just bring all these points up all right that's cool now let's just add some strings so we'll grab this white right here and starting right there bring it down this way so when I'm making shapes like this I like to just kind of sketch it out first and then make adjustments as I go so curving it out now after the main shape is created like that and then we'll go zoom in and add the end of the string like this group those together command G double click and then we'll send this one to the back and add a small shadow right there 
make it black. There's a string, so let's just adjust the size a little bit. And we'll bring this one down. Give that a bit of a curve, and then we'll just add a small line right here. Cool, now let's just reflect that to the other side. And drop it right about there. What we can do now is use our free transform tool right here and then just hold down shift and drag it out a little bit just to make it a little bit different than the other one. And then double click in there and then bring it up a little bit. And we can adjust the end of the string too. Cause you don't want it to look exactly the same. Making it look a little bit different does a lot. All right, so then we just gotta add a few lines right here for the arms like this. And then we'll just go like that for the armpit. Same thing on this side. That's cool. And then we will curve this and this, curve it out. And then a little bit of a curve on these two shoulders as well. Just a little bit. All right, that's cool. So we have our head grouped together. Just give it a little bit of a rotation. Bring it to the front, by the way. And then we can just bring it down and then adjust our neck. All right, cool. And then since this is gonna be a profile picture, I'm gonna make it into a circle. So let's just add a big circle right here, which is basically gonna be the shape of the profile picture. So we'll center that, go over to a line, bring it to the middle and then send it to the back, make it white. Let's shrink it down a little bit. And then we're gonna select the entire character and try to line them up with the circle. Use your direct select tool, bring it right there. It's already pretty much matched up, but we'll just make it perfect like that. So now it's starting to look a little bit like a profile picture circle. The last thing I wanna do is add a few plants behind them. Cause as you see, I don't know if you can see that. I got a bunch of plants in my house. So that's where the green's gonna come in. Let's select our green. And then with our pencil tool, we'll just draw out a few leaves. All right, so that's it for the leaves. And then last thing we'll do is add a little bit of grass like this, Some curvy lines. Just to fill out the space a little bit like that. Select your circle, Command C, Command Shift V, and then grab your grass and then Pathfinder tool, intersect and make that green and you can send it to the back. 
All right, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back in and make some slight adjustments on this, but I just wanted to give you guys the main idea of how to create this character. We'll see if I stick with this one for more than a year. I might end up changing it again, who knows? But for now, I like it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks a little bit like me. And sometimes it just feels good to switch it up and start fresh. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys would have done different or if you learned something new, let me know that as well. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.